German Shepherd vs Belgian Malinois. Choosing a breed of dog to adopt can be complicated, and most of the time you'll face the decision of choosing between two breeds. Depending on the dog you're looking for, they can be very different breeds, but most of the times they'll be very similar. Welcome to Dog Law, guys. Today we're comparing two very similar breeds, the German Shepherd and the Belgian Malinois. Which dog is better behaved? Which breed can be trained easily? Today we're covering the most important questions you might ask if you ever have to decide to choose one or the other. Before we begin, can you tell us which of these breeds has been working alongside the police for the longest time? Let us know in the comments. If we have time, we'll tell you at the end. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Both the Belgian Malinois and the German Shepherd are members of the herding group and can trace their origins to livestock herding dogs. The place where they were first seen is not a shock for everyone, as the Belgian Malinois was developed in Belgium and the German Shepherd in Germany. The Malinois was one of four varieties of Belgian Shepherd dog in use in the late 1800s. The other three varieties were the Turvuren, the Grunendal and the Larkenoir. It was first recognised by Professor Adolf Ruhl. He characterised these dogs as medium-sized square dogs with triangular ears and dark brown eyes. Each of the four types of Belgian Shepherd Dog were named after the city of Malines, where it was developed by trainers and working competitors. On the other hand, dating back to the late 1800s, the German Shepherd was developed by Captain Max von Stefanitz. He wanted to create the perfect dog breed. Von Stefanitz was impressed by the variety of herding dogs he saw throughout Germany, looking for his ideal medium to large sized dog with an independent, persistent and obedient personality he found and purchased a dog at a show in 1899. That dog became the first registered German Shepherd dog in von Stefanitz's newly established German Shepherd Dog Club and the founder of the breed. At first glance, you could be forgiven for confusing a Belgian Malinois with a German Shepherd. Both breeds are similar in height. Males stand 24 to 26 inches high at the withers and females 22 to 24 inches. However, the majority of Shepherds are heavier than most Belgian Malinois. The male shepherd weighs around 90 pounds and the female around 70 pounds. In contrast, a male Belgian Malinois can weigh up to 60 to 80 pounds and the female between 40 and 60 pounds. As to the shape, the breed standard for the German Shepherd describes a dog that is longer than tall, deep bodied and presents an outline of smooth curves rather than angles. On the opposite side is the Malinois, which is described as a square breed. In other words, when viewing from the side, the top line, front legs and back legs should closely approximate a square. When you look at the coats of both Belgian Malinois and German Shepherd, you'll notice that the German Shepherd has a double layer of protection to keep it warm. The outer layer sheds every season, generally in the fall and winter months. Since the outer layer is water repellent, it could take some time to bath a Shepherd as well. German Shepherds have straight and long hair that lie close to their bodies. Occasionally, the hair may be wavy and wiry. The coat is available in a variety of patterns and colours, including sable, silver, red and black. German Shepherds are jokingly known as German Shedders, as the breed sheds throughout the year and are known to shed a ton of hair at once, twice a year. Unfortunately, there's no magic solution to the problem, hence dog owners must be prepared to clean up the mess. However, brushing your dog's fur two to three times a week will aid the process. We advise you to invest in a handy vacuum cleaner, just in case. As a pet owner, you'll probably take your pet to have it groomed or even bathe your dog at home. Weekly grooming is almost necessary to keep the coat neat and to remove loose hairs. If you give a bath too often, then the natural oils of the skin can begin to make the coat of the German Shepherd appear dull. You'll be pleased to know that the Belgian Melanoirs are easy to groom because of their short and straight hair. Simply brush the dog's coat weekly using a firm bristle brush and only bathe when necessary. Malinois dogs are moderate shedders and only shed heavily during the spring and fall. Also, brush your dog's teeth at least two to three times a week to get rid of tartar buildup. Daily brushing is required to prevent the risk of periodontal and gum diseases. Another difference is that the Belgian Malinois has deeper ears and should be examined for wax buildup, as well as mites and other debris that can get down into the ear canal. Belgian Malinois are medium-sized dogs and have to be fed around two to three cups of nutritious dog food divided into two meals. Please remember that the amount of food your dog consumes greatly depends on their overall build, health and age. 
because of their larger size, German Shepherds must consume three to four cups of high-quality dog food divided into two meals a day. Always feed your dog nutritious food that doesn't have high starch content. Belgian Malinois with an average lifespan of 14 to 16 years live considerably longer than German Shepherds with only 7 to 10 years on average. Both Shepherds and Malinois are prone to several health conditions, but comparing just one to the other, the Malinois stands as a slightly healthier breed. When adopting a pet, be sure to contact a reliable breeder. Some German Shepherds' prominent health conditions that you should be concerned about include hip dysplasia, allergies, degenerative myelopathy, elbow dysplasia, and gastric dilation or volvulus. Belgian Malinois are also prone to hip and elbow dysplasia, in addition to the possibility of suffering progressive retinal atrophy and dyslexia sensitivity. Now, if you're looking for a family dog and consider the energy levels of both of the breeds, the German Shepherd might be better suited for your family if you want a companion with lower energy levels. And even so, you'll still need to have them work out daily. But it's nothing compared to the 90 minutes of daily exercise that the Malinois needs. Also, this needs to be split between three to four different sessions. Ideally, you'd want to go either three 30-minute sessions or four 20 to 25-minute sessions. For both breeds, in terms of what to do during these sessions, you can walk, play, run and hike. The list is endless. But you need to remember that purchasing any of these breeds is a big commitment. They're large dogs who are very intelligent and require a lot of exercise and mental stimulation. Without this, they can become destructive. Temperament Other than the looks, this is the aspect in which they are the most similar. They're extremely eager to please their owners, so they will do their best to achieve this goal. Both of them are protective to their owners and easy to train as long as you're a consistent trainer. Only with a little patience, you'll find out how intelligent and obedient both of these breeds tend to be. Not for nothing, they are two of the most used breeds in law enforcement. German Shepherds may look reserved, but they're certainly not shy animals. While they may not make friends quite as easily, once they do, they'll be extremely loyal dogs. German Shepherds are easygoing and approachable with loved ones. Because of their protective nature, they make excellent watchdogs. You should know that the Malinois is generally considered to be a more independent dog than the German Shepherd and can suffer from separation anxiety once they've formed a bond with their keepers. When looking at training for the German Shepherd and Belgian Malinois, you'll see that both require intensive training to socialize well with other people. Because of their high intelligence, however, training is often easier with both of these breeds compared to that of other dogs. In terms of aggression, there's little difference, but German Shepherds are slightly less aggressive and have slower movements when they attack. These dogs don't adjust well to dominant training. They are confident and loyal, which means that they understand commands well and can be easily taught how to do the things that you desire without being forceful with the training delivered. Positive reinforcement works well with both the Belgian Malinois and the German Shepherd. Now that we have a little time to spare, we can tell you which breed has been working with the police for the longest time. To tell you this story, we have to go back to January in 1908, where the AKC Gazette mentioned that two Belgian sheepdogs had been imported into the United States to work as police dogs in New York City. More were imported in 1911, including two specifically identified in the AKC stud book as Malinois. Finally, in 1959, the Belgian Malinois was granted full AKC recognition as a breed of its own, separate from the other Belgian Shepherd Dog varieties. That's our video for today. Are you clear now which one of these is your favourite? Let us know. Also, remember to mention in the comments below the topic that you want us to cover next. See you then!